What's going on guys? This is Vince with vshred.com and in today's video, I'm gonna help you understand which one is better for you, chest press or chest fly. Like I said, today's video, I'm gonna be talking about what's gonna be better for you, and I'm gonna be running through chest presses with dumbbells and chest flies with dumbbells. And today's not gonna be about barbell at all. If you're looking for information about barbell bench press, I actually made a video on how the barbell bench press is not the best exercise for building up your chest. And I do show you what exercise is the best in that video. If you wanna watch it, I'm gonna put a card to it right here so you can go watch that video. This one is going to specifically be about some dumbbells and whether you should be doing presses or flies if you're trying to build your chest. And I'm gonna tell you why and i'm going to keep this video short and sweet i'm not going to be boring you out of your mind i'm just going to hit the main points here and that's it so i'm going to start off by saying obviously if you're doing chest press you can go heavier than if you do chest flies that's pretty obvious why because your arms are going to be down at a 90 degree angle right here so right here i'm able to push heavier weights the second that i bring this weight out now it's not adding any extra weight, obviously, because I'm holding some 40s. And yes, that's light because I want to be able to talk to you while I'm doing this. But if I go down with 40s, I'm still holding 40s here. And so I can do, as I mean, I don't know, 30, 40 reps just going like this with some 40s. Do you think I could do 30, 40 reps doing this? No. Does that mean that it's heavier on my chest? No. 40 pounds is going to be 40 pounds either way. But because I'm able to control it a lot easier and I'm able to have a stronger press here and I'm able to control it a lot easier, I'm going to be able to use heavier weights. And as a result of using heavier weights, you're gonna be able to get stronger faster and you're also going to be able to build that foundation that you need to be able to put on overall size and put on overall strength, which is huge if you're trying to, let's say, I don't know, build muscle, which is what everybody's trying to do. So um, I think the biggest takeaway from dumbbell presses is that you're able to be able to, you're able to control more weight. With flies, now I wanna talk about that for a quick second. Because when I grab some dumbbells to do flies, and I'm gonna show you this just like I did with the 40s just now, I'm going down. And I think this is why people do like flies. I'm gonna bring this weight out to the side and I'm going to then bring this up together. When I bring this up together, and if you were doing this right along with me, like as a follow along or something like that, if you bring this weight out and you bring this weight together, you're probably going to feel a lot better of a squeeze in your chest than if you are just to press 20 pounds. Again, that doesn't mean that this 20 pounds is heavier when you do this. The fly is just better at activating, stimulating your pectoral muscle. That doesn't mean that it's better. It just means that when you are going into a fly like this, you are focusing more on that abduction of you're bringing your elbow in towards the midline of your body. And because your elbows are, are in closer, you're going to feel a better squeeze on the inside with that chest and feel a better activation of that muscle. Now, one of the downfalls of chest flies is that up here at the top where I am right now, I'm no longer working my chest. And so that's why I'm not a huge fan of dumbbell flies. Another reason is because it's really bad on your shoulder joints. And then the other thing is with chest flies, you go down to a regular press, okay? So this is a dumbbell press right here. And this is all the farther you would need to go down. You don't have to go way back down here. Right here is fine. You're getting a nice stretch of your pec muscle. If I go from here to here, so I'm going from a press to the bottom of a fly, there is no difference in where my elbow is in comparison to my body. So that doesn't mean when I go from here to here, I'm getting more of a stretch on the muscle. I'm not lengthening the muscle more. And so you're not actually going to be getting more of a stretch by doing this. And so 
One thing that people mess up a lot is they think that when they do go down with that fly, they feel it more. You're not actually stretching the muscle more, so stop thinking that. And also, when you do go down for that fly, you're not able to control the same amount of weight at the bottom of that exercise as you are at the top of the exercise. And that is why I like chest presses more because at the bottom of the exercise, yes, it's obviously going to be harder than at the top, but you're able to control so much more weight at the bottom versus putting your shoulders into a bad position, struggling at the bottom, possibly hurting yourself. And then even at you, as you bring it up to the top, losing the contraction or losing that stimulation at the top where you would have it if you were using a lot more weight because obviously you can't use a lot of weight when you're doing flies. So that's a quick rundown on presses versus flies. If you're trying to build up your chest, get rid of the dumbbell flies. If you want to do some flies, I would recommend doing some cable flies instead. It's just going to help give you that tension that you need all the way throughout the exercise. It's also not going to be hurting and overloading your shoulder at the bottom of the exercise. And also if you're just going to do presses, use the weight that you can use. You don't have to be careful that you're not using too heavy of weights because at the bottom it hurts your shoulders. When you're doing presses, you can go heavy and you can build strength and you can build muscle a lot faster. Yes, you're going to be working a little bit of your triceps, a little bit of your anterior deltoid, but that's just a result of trying to work your chest. With cables, yes, you do a little more isolation where you're not working your triceps as much. You'll work your shoulders some as still, but if you're going to do dumbbells, there's a lot more downfalls than there are with presses. So to sum up the video, I like chest presses more because when it comes to dumbbell flies, there's just a lot more downsides than there are to the positives and with dumbbell chest press, it's just a great movement overall. No, it's not gonna be great at necessarily isolating your chest like say a cable fly could do better at, but you're gonna be able to lift more weight and build that foundation that you need to really build overall strength and overall muscle so that you can build up a bigger chest and just build more muscle in general. So. Hopefully this video helped you understand that you need to get rid of the dumbbell flies, or if you are gonna do flies, help on the cables and focus more on the pressing movements because you're still gonna be going from your elbows out to your elbows in, which is how your chest gets worked. You're just also going to be able to use more weight and you're not gonna put your shoulder in a risky position. So that's it guys. If you're looking for more help with getting in shape, I do have a free body type quiz right below this video where I do give three tips on what you should be doing based off what your body type is. So if your goal is weight loss, I give three tips on that. If your goal is bulking, I give three tips on that. So take the quiz if you want some help. Uh, watch the video at the end, that's all you gotta do. Other than that, make sure you're subscribing to my channel. Uh, hit a little notification bell, that way you're getting notified when I post a new video. And hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you in the next one.